Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today, we're going to take a look into this Ubuntu. It is a discontinued Linux-based operating system. But let's take a look if we could like learn from this distro. So let's install this one first in our computer. I'm using the virtual machine by Genome or GNU. It depends on how you say it but it is still what it is what it is okay we are now in our ubuntu hmm surprisingly similar to what i'm expecting to a mac os so let's dig into this well uh we have the icon right here the apple icon which is trying to imitate the mac os i will compare that into my mac uh huh how do you use the finder oh there's nothing to it okay <laughs> so i didn't install this in my hardware uh let me see we have the launcher right here so it is using plasma the kde Plasma desktop environment Let me open the system settings. Yes, it is using it So let's try to see if there is a welcome page Let me see there is a welcome page Nope Nope, nope, nope So let's try to go to the website first before we literally explore this operating system Let's maximize. So it has to reload the Firefox hiding from the so called. Uh oh, are we stuck already? No, we're just low in memory. <laughs> okay I just gave it like eight gigabytes but I think it's heavy in the graphics that's why is it am I so I think my RAM is a little bit like very low for this particular operating system so I need to restart this one this is a discontinued Linux based operating system, so just bear with me. Maybe we could like salvage this type of operating system, or maybe in the future someone will uh, take some, some obligation to revive. It's basically Ubuntu with KDE plasma with a theme of mac <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so we downgrade our screen okay <laughs> let me see again i need the display Okay, it won't allow me. All right, it loaded properly. <laughs> oh man. So it imitates the website like you're using the uh, the Firefox but it says like Safari. Well, let's try to see. Let's go to the Ubuntu. Ubuntu. I forgot the name of that full name of the website, but let's just uh, look into this one. So here we are. Ubuntu UK. Is this the one? No. That is not a Ubuntu. <laughs> okay, this is the 
website so we have the website of ibuntu which is ibuntu.jimdofree.com so as close as possible to mac os to be like fair use alternative that's ubuntu based and it is resembles mac so this is i don't know if this is still continued or what but let me see let's uh, try to see the about the desktop user interface it's similar to ubuntu and mac os so we have the dock right here with the launch pad which is plasma desktop environment and of course we have the finder which is the let me see what is this okay this is the dolphin it mimics the finder then we have the firefox supposed to be firefox but the icon is safari well icloud we have the gwen viewer right here calendar calibre maps notes apple music media player we have the kde connect software or software app or app store we have also the system settings and the console for the terminal and the last one is the trash can right here which is a trash bin and of course we have the disk right here and the installer so we have the logo for the computer and of course it has all those stuff like shutdown lag out lock screen force quit and all those stuff right here how about the finder no nothing there's nothing here okay i just click it nothing there how about this one the battery okay we have the network the volume control i don't know what is this siri oh it's just a search i forgot the term right here in the search button right here in our let me see can we i don't know it's just plasma okay this one is the status and notification area so you have all those stuff right here even the night color control the vault and the battery battery and brightness the device notification the display configuration and those and all those stuff of course it has the date and time and month right here so that is the desktop user interface it's basically like a mac or mac os so the appearance let's go for the appearance if we could change okay let me see if we could change the background background where are you so as you can see this is the plasma let's check what kind of plasma are we working with system information okay it is a plasma 5.18.8 so as you can see i am using the amd7 or amd ryzen 7 and the kernel version is 5.4.0 generic okay so let's try to check for the different okay can i drag you no okay yeah i think i could but it's sluggish okay i forgot to check how much ram did i gave this one it's eight gigabytes of random access memory so it looks like Mac. It's look like. 
even the Big Sur but it has a KDE feel that is the wallpapers available right here in our Ubuntu we could also check for the global theme dark mode apply ooh there it is the dark mode so this is the dark mode how about the plasma style yes you can change that one we also have the application style right here the decors right here if you want to change it bless you somebody sneeze let's close the appearance so how about the application so as you can see we have the browsers right here all those stuff you need uh, from the browser to the email client to the uh, photo viewer calendar the Calibri office suite the Google Maps which is no this is not Google Maps this is the genome maps the GNU maps we have also the notes right here music player at the same time connect KDE connect the App Store and of course we have the system settings and the console as we have that one as a default you also have right here like the gestures the easy stroke gestures you also have the Google Chrome the GNU image manipulator program even the i drive i don't know if it's gonna be i drive ubuntu update so basically it's mimicking the ubuntu this is the partition manager yeah this is the partition manager latte is the dock application oh they also have the LibreOffice suite screen saver software and updates right here spectacle is screen capture either it's photo or a recording video recording and time shift is the backup of your operating system if you update and then you have some problem with it you could like time shift it so that's the time shift software center let's go to the software center what kind of software center are they are using i think this is discover i think so this is discover so software catalog is downloading right now so let's wait for that one it is mimicking the software app oh this is what what is this okay it's basically generic i really don't know probably this is gnu software center this is not the kde software center or the discover so let me try to download something like let me see let's try to download vlc vlc okay and then we have the source either ubuntu snap okay so this is ubuntu based software center okay let's just click this one install oops is it allowing us no we are not allowed okay we are not allowed to download okay let's close this one so basically this is a unmaintained ubuntu based mac like operating system based in linux kernel and of course it's mimicking everything in our mac os 
So conclusion on this particular operating system. It's easy for the transitioners from Mac. It's Mac-like. The learning curve is a little bit like normal. Not too hard, not too easy, not too complicated. The installation, yeah, it is easy to understand. And of course, the security update is, is it is not advisable to use this one. But if you just wanted to play with it, it is okay, but not the daily driver. This is unmaintained. So basically you have to tinker with it if you want to make it as a daily driver. So anyway, that's it for now for our OS Ubuntu operating system, a Mac OS like operating system based in Ubuntu. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. I'm Blair, your science computer and math teacher. Catch another episode of OS next time as we ponder and continue the search for knowledge. And remember that science means knowing. That's why science is cool. So how do we shut down this one? Simple. Just go right here on the icon or the logo of Apple and then click shut down. Bye.